How to apply brush strokes in Photoshop with the apply image feature. You can combine layers as well as channels and brush strokes to create all kinds of unique designs very quickly. It does require a little bit of a setup, create layers of brush strokes, but that takes a few minutes and then you can apply them and combine them in millions of ways. So how to do that? How to create amazing designs? This tutorial requires a bit of a setup. You might want to go forward if you've got layers already with brush strokes. But if you haven't, just quickly create some layers with brush strokes. So I've got a number of ones here. You can see all these ones. They've all got brush strokes. They've all been combined in different ways with apply image. But you can use them again and again and again to build up more complex designs. So select the top layer in the layers panel. Go here, click the plus, and that adds a new layer. Complete empty, fresh layer. Swatches panel, really useful. You can select the color. So I'm just gonna go say with red. And I'm gonna use brush tool. You could use other tools, of course, mixer, etc. But I'm gonna go with brush tool. And I'm gonna use a very basic brush, just this one, soft mechanical, nine pixels. And I've just set the size 91. And you can see, I can just add some very basic strokes some red strokes like that, maybe some blue strokes. Now it's actually quite hard sometimes unless you look in the layers panel to see what you've got. Once you've got lots and lots of layers all combined, it starts to be a bit trickier. So I'm just gonna go with yellow and you can see what I'm just doing, just basic layers building up. I could create three, 10, 15, 100 layers full of colors like this, very basic ones with different brushes, inks, acrylics, etc but I'm just going with this very basic brush for this tutorial. And you can see the design now, create a very basic design. Now you could go to the layers panel, just go there and just use blend modes. Just run through them, you can see as you do that, you can see how it's tricky because you have to go through all the different layers, select the layer, change the blend modes, try it out, will this work, will that. But if you want to have a lovely flow, workflow for creating designs with this, I think it's probably best the apply image. You need a new layer, fresh layer. You could of course apply it to this one as well, perfectly reasonable, but I'm not. I want to go to layer and again here, click plus, blank, edit and fill. And you could fill it with black or white. I'm going to go with black. You could fill white, green, red, etc. Go to image, and apply image. Now I've got a shortcut here. That's not probably gonna be the shortcut you'll have, but it's very hard to find a shortcut that you can create after a while. You get to the point where you've got no more shortcuts available. So I've just gone for Control M, which replaced something. It won't be Control M for you. I think that's curves or something, curve adjustments. So just do that. Select that one, apply image. And then what you see, you've got all these layers in here and I'm using this one at the top, layer 15. So layer 15, and that's black. If you go through this layers, you've got all these layers, layer 14, it will just display this one, or layer 13. It requires two or three, five, 10 goes of the apply image to build up some complexity. If you just do it once, you'll just get the basic design from the layer, which is not probably what you want. And you go layer 12, and you can apply effects to all these. So you've got this one was all created using the filter menu and wave, obviously with some brushes as well, but it's just distorted by using wave. But layer 10, you see other brush strokes, you can add that in as well. Layer nine, and you can see the result of some of the applications of apply image to create that. So layer seven, and you can see other ones there. So let's just go with that one. You've got blend modes as well, so you can run through blend modes, just how it blends. You've also got masks as well, which could be really useful. I'm not gonna use masks in this, but you can, that's an added additional option. So click okay. So layer 15 now has got obviously what the other layers got. But now the key thing is go to it again. Control M, of course, layer seven at the moment, but change it to layer four. And now you can see what happens. It combines with the layer seven, layer four. And also you've got the option here for 
channels. So you could use what the red channel is for layer four. So you're not just the whole of layer four, just the red in channel four. Use that. And difference or light and etc. run through them. And you can see the result there. You can see, maybe go for vivid light. Change it. Also, opacity. Don't have to keep it 100%. And also you could set up maybe different documents with different images and brush strokes as well. Maybe brushes like a file with inks, a file with acrylics. You could then combine them all together using this. Maybe a brush stroke, some person, a face, and you've created multiple copies of it, but with different brush strokes, and then you can just combine them all. So I'm just gonna say click OK at this point. So you've got your design there. You can also, Go here, as long as you've got that selected, go to filter, maybe go to stylize and oil paint. Just to blur it a bit, smear it, and you can see the effect there. But again, control M or apply image. Go for red, go for green, and you can see now blue. And it does change, and you can bring in some very unusual artifacts in some of these things. So again, difference. Also, with apply image, you've got the option, and I think it's in calculations as well, You've also got add and subtract, which you haven't got in the layers panel. So you can use that. So add, if you select that, you'll notice you've got this scale and offset, and you can change it. It's not very flexible in terms of it's not interactive, so you have to wait until it's just applied it before you see the result. You go up there, push it up, you can see it obviously adds, makes it brightens it very rapidly, or go the other way, darkens it, takes it away. And you've got subtract as well. So you could use those. Personally, difference is always my favorite, but you can use other ones. RGB, go with that, and now click OK. Do the same, Control M. Not layer four, but layer two, say. Click OK, Control M. Layer eight. Press OK, and so on, so on. You can see literally within a few minutes, you can build up all kinds of, com and this one of course uses some brush strokes, a different brush stroke from the one that I'm currently using. Click OK again. Again, you might like to go to filter and oil paint just to slightly smear it a couple of times. Let's just apply it three or four times. And then again, Control M, not layer 10, but go with layer nine this time, or maybe layer eight. And you can run through them very rapidly. Again, you've got the red channel, green channel, just to try them out. Different blend modes, you don't have to go with that one. Hard light, some are better than others. Color dodge, just go with that one. Click OK, Control M, and you can see, apply it again, RGB, layer two, and maybe difference, or add, soft light. Click OK, and you can build up complex design. And of course, what happens is once you've got this layer, again, you can go over to filter and oil paint. So you apply it, smear it a bit. You can use this. So go to layers, go down here to the plus, click there. Again, empty one, edit and fill, and you can fill with black. But you can also fill it with a gradient. Just go and set any of the gradient. Use the gradient tool here in the tools panel or brush strokes. Just apply a gradient. So you can see there, you've got that. That's selected. Again, Control M, which apply image. You can bring that, you can see what happens then. You've got the brushes, create this like really lovely smeary, sort of blurry look, soft light, and you can run through that, subtract. Hard, hard mix, I think that's a great one as well. Pin light, linear light, and you can see the result. Click OK. Control M, could use layer two again. Layer four, try that. Linear light, difference. Build up all kinds of very complex designs. Hard light, click OK. What you can also do is you can resize. You can re just go here and transform the layer apply it and then the result will be obviously still using the other ones so you can just resize i wouldn't go once you've created the resize and you don't want to push it too much but say you want to resize it a little bit and you can don't even make too much difference pushing it 
going the other way again. Don't resize it back smaller because what will happen is you will end up with a line in it where you will see a slight cut in the picture. Not ideal. So press turn there and you can do that on the other ones. But again, always just increase out. Don't go in. And then again, image, apply. Now you can't create a use apply image with different size documents. So if you create a document, they've always got to be the same size. And I think also in the same like RGB, you can't mix and match different things. Bitterly, you can't, just doesn't allow that. So layer three, you can see, and you can actually create quite interesting combinations by just using maybe duplications and resizing, combining that as well. Layer 14, gain vivid light, difference, subtract, click OK. And you see, you can just build up infinite complex brushstroke designs very quickly in Photoshop using this approach. And you've got then all these layers, go over here and you can save it. Just save the entire thing. All those layers will then be accessible and you could build up another document with another set of brush strokes. And again, combine them. So again, image, apply image, and you can see there, layer 10, layer eight, again with fex, difference, and click OK. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.